Let me tell you all something about people. The thing about people is, they're pretty fucked up nowadays. They were fucked up at the dawn of civilization, and they were two centuries ago, and they were a decade ago, and they still are now. Because some people take life for granted, and think they can bully their way through it. And in case you, my fellow emo viewers, couldn't tell by my incredibly dorky manner, which, uh, you really can't because you haven't, like, quite seen me yet, um, <clears throat> well, let's just say that I've dealt with bullies before. Gary, do you need anything else in the laundry besides what I've got here in the basket? God, Mom, do you have to interrupt me every time I'm recording an edgy monologue? I haven't done that once! Oh, oh, really? I was once a lost boy, but now I am a man who's found his true calling. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am back. Gary, sweetie, would you like anything from the store? Son of a bitch! Mom! Edgy monologuing here! And, and we need chicken tendies. You will find many folders filled with those. What do you make of that? Okay, fine then. I'll worry less about my son's hygiene. I was hoping you didn't have any more. The load right here alone feels like it weighs about as much as a slender 19-year-old boy. Put that down! I have, um, Batman cosplays to wash. Okay, fine. But be careful of the wizard hats. They shrink. I'm going to go take the other load out of the dryer, but I'm going to need you to clean it up because that red paint is staining everything. You got it, Mom. Ugh. Chicken tendies are ready! Do you want some sauce with these or... Oh, looks like you already have some. It's okay. I was just working on a science experiment. Gary? Yeah? Can I talk to you? Sure. Why did you have a blood-stained shirt earlier? It was fake blood. Why do you ask? I don't know. It's just that for the last seven years or so, you've been acting a little strange. Oh, no, no, no. It's, um, I've been working on Halloween supplies lately. It's something really cool, you know, like a haunted house type thing. Oh, wow, that does sound cool. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, like, worry you. It's all right, go do your thing. <clears throat> you know, the thing about bullies is, they're a lot like toilets. They're dirty full of shit, deserve to be pissed on, and quite a bit of them are white. At least, mine were. In this episode, I am going to be discussing ways to utilize bathroom appliances when dealing with bullies, because God knows I've had to do that. And I'd very much like to spread my knowledge to you, fellow viewers, so you can ward off your enemies. Yeah, he's going out to the garage now. Yes, his shirt was covered in blood. He says he's working on Halloween decorations. I think it's true, honestly. February? I know it was late, but not this late. Mm. 
Okay. I'll goggle or goggle it. Some stuff tomorrow. I love you too. Bye. Mom, where's the detergent? Oh, I, uh, left it on your bed last night. Uh, thanks, Mom. Order that newest Mitsubishi vacuum. I gotta delete my history. What the fuck? God damn it. I saw you use my computer. I just want to let you know that some sites can be dangerous. You have to know what to search for and how to clean it up. Oh, I'm sorry, Gary. I just wanted to order that new Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi vacuum. vacuum. Yeah, I figured. Well, I'll be getting back to my, uh, hobbies. Okay. I'll come fold your laundry when it's done. That'll be okay, Mom. I can handle it. Really? Oh, well, you're just getting to be so helpful. Yeah. I guess I'm just growing up. Since elementary school, Zack followed me around and handed me my first pair of black eyes. So many came after that. Jake, Will, Spartacus, David. All of them made me drip the red from inside of me, but little did they know that I was always figuring out how to drain the red inside of them.
Mom, the laundry needs to be folded. Oh.